Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the first week of July. Keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in, and in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, and as always, I hope everyone is doing well. You guys reading it, already the energy I'm picking up is so, it's cute, but it's kind of messy. I have to be honest with you. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was All the Things Your Man Won't Do by Joe. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you guys can listen to it following the reading because I do feel like it is strongly aligned with the message that you guys are meant to get today. So um, the message that I got, you guys have a friend that you are very comfortable with, that you have, I feel like you've known this person for years. You have quite a bit of history with this person. I don't feel like you've been sexual with this person. This person has a crush on you. I'm going to tell you, especially if you are a female and you've been talking to a male friend about situations regarding your love life, your male friend is in love with you. I am picking that up and they really feel like they, they want you for themselves. Because when I was listening to the song, the part of the song that I heard, the, the verse that I heard was, I heard he has you on lockdown, but I've got the master key. Like, I, and when I heard that immediately, I knew the message. The message was, yeah, this person, you may be with this person in a relationship, in a marriage, engagement, something like that. But you and I have this connection. Henceforth, the master, P, master key part. Okay, master P, somebody could have a first, middle, or last initial with a P in it. Um, Because, you know, there's no such thing as coincidences. So I said that for a reason. This person feels like, yeah, you can be in a relationship with this other person, but the fact that you feel so comfortable confiding in them and coming to them for guidance and just to communicate as a whole, they feel like they know you on a deeper level than your partner does. And that's that bond is what's making them fall for you is what I'm picking up, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm gonna part the deck randomly so we can get a different card at the bottom so you guys can know that the reading is completely unbiased. Both of the decks are completely upright. Look at that. <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. And it, it just takes me back to the verse that I told you I heard. I heard he has you on lockdown, but I've got the master key. Like, this person feels like they had a recipe to be the perfect partner to you. Like they And they, I feel like they're also trying to manifest you. Also, if you look behind him, it's like a doorway. It's a shadow doorway. And key, the door is making me feel like, you know, you didn't even see this person trying to make their way into your life on, as a love interest. And that's why this doorway is shadowed. This person wants you. They want you bad. This is the card of Virgo, also Gemini. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. As we part the deck so that we can shuffle. Look at that. Four of, ooh. Did not say it's beautiful or messy. I said that. For those of you who have never watched my channel before, I'm going to tell you anytime I part of the deck to show you guys that the cards are upright, whatever cards stick out to me, those are the cards that I will address. Four of Wands, some of you guys are engaged or married or have been with someone long enough where it will be considered a, um, you know, a, what do you call I can't think of the marriage that they call it. Whatever the case is, like a, you know, civil union, that's what I'm thinking about. You've been with this person long enough where it would be considered a marriage or it's like a civil union. But look at that. Tower card. Tower card. Fire sign, very predominant in this situation. You got four of wands, that's Leo, Sag, Aries. And then you have the tower card, that's Aries and Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, this person wants to see you and this, your love interest or the person that you're currently with. They want to see an end to that. Also, they feel like, why do you keep coming to inventing to me about this if you're going to stay with this person? Because I feel like outwardly, you and your person that you're currently with or you just broke up from, you have this outside appearance as though everything is happy and joyful. But deep down inside, it's like this is a tower. Like things are crumbling around. And slowly but surely, the top is going to come off of the situation. You see how that's a tornado getting ready to snatch the roof off the situation? This person can't wait for <laughs> 
this person, this friend or associate can't wait for you to um, separate from this individual. At the bottom of the deck, look at that. Queen of Cups. This person loves you. This person has feelings for you and they're hiding them. Because you see how her cup, she has this cup, is a lid on it. This person is concealing their feelings, but they can't wait to the moment that they can openly express it to you. They, I'm, they can't wait. Again, I'm going to part the deck. Absolutely. Eight of Wands. You guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is this peeking out? Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. I'm telling you, somebody you have history with. This person could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, Six of Cups. Again, this is somebody that you know. This is not someone new. This is someone you know that you feel very comfortable communicating with and expressing emotions with because Cups is about emotions. And I feel like they're going to come out of the blue because the Eight of Wands always for me is somebody coming out of the blue. Some communication, some actions that come out of the blue that you weren't expecting. This person has feelings for you, your friend, your associate. As we part the deck, absolutely, fire sign. As we part the deck, to shuffle, you got the Two of Wands. This person does not know. They're trying to decide whether or not they're going to come towards you and express how they feel. But this person has strong feelings for you. So much so that they're trying to manifest you into their reality. As a love interest. Absolutely. The world card. Now I'm going to tell you, you have the world card, right? And then with the two of wands, you have a globe right here. World also. So you and this person could be at a distance from one another. You guys could just talk a lot or text a lot. They, don't, they may not be very close to you. Yeah, but they love you. World card in reverse. I feel like this person is wanting to travel towards you. They may have talked about traveling towards you or moving closer. Again, possible Gemini because the lover's card is Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person really loves you. Both of these are major arcana. Also, major, major feelings, major emotions. And also with that world card in reverse, they want to close that gap, that distance between the two of you all. If you don't live very close to each other. This person's gonna come in and they're gonna tell you how they feel. Strong Gemini energy. Also could be Libra and Aquarius, but strong Gemini. This person is fearful about how you're going to respond when they come in and communicate. I always tell you guys, swords up, that's yes, swords down is no. So if this card would came in reverse, no, they're not gonna tell you how they feel, but this person's gonna tell you how they feel. Also, they're hoping that you're gonna be the queen of swords and cut this person off. Cause this is your energy also. So one card for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, one general and one possible outcome, and then we'll get clarifiers for both. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Let's see. I feel strong fire energy. And also if this, yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then right up under it, you have the Seven of Pentacles, some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, no longer building with this individual. This friend or associate, they really feel like you are their soulmate. And it's really bothering them to see you, you know, I feel like I'm hearing live a lie with someone else. I'm hearing that, right? Again, bottom of the deck, you know, you literally, they want this, they want this distance between the two of you all to end clear as day is what I'm picking up. You guys can definitely be dealing with someone strong air sign, um, just like yourself. Predominantly Gemini. You could feel like this about them also. Put it how it applies. Okay. A lot flipped up, but the one that flipped directly, it literally flipped on the table like this. Yeah. Four of Swords, this is your energy. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also Gemini, Libra, right? So I feel like some of you guys are taking the time to think things over because this is also my rest, retreat, pull back card. Um, I, I don't feel like this is necessarily you. It could be you dealing with a situation. If you're in a situation that you're not happy in and you're talking to someone, you're telling this person about how you're thinking about leaving the situation or retreating and falling back from this relationship. And then also, I feel like this person is sitting down thinking this person is love interest because I feel like they have strong air sign placements in their chart. Also, they're thinking about, they're in deep contemplation about how they're going to come towards you. I know they're contemplating because look at the clouds over their head. Kind of looks like a storm that's brewing. Keep in mind, both of your cards came upright. 
this person is thinking about how they're going to come in and communicate with you. I feel like their feelings towards you is very intense. Look how the male is looking at the female. Intense. Like they want you. I'm telling you, they want you. For your clarifying neck, we're going to hold it down and get an additional message for you guys. Yeah. Again, strong fire sign energy, period. Long story short, this person sees growth with you. Look at how he's looking at the tip of the wand and you see how you see Lee's budding. And they also feel like the relationship between the two of you all is budding and going to the next level also. Um, three months ago, something with three weeks, three days, three months could be very substantial and influential in your situation. They could live, mm, okay, I'm also hearing if you are at a distance from them, they could live three hours away from you. I'm picking it up also. As we part the deck, Knight of Pentacles, absolutely. You see how the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands are facing the same direction? I feel like this is the same person. This person has a great deal of passion for you. And keep in mind, Page is our communication. And I said when I seen that Queen of Swords, I feel like this person is going to come in and communicate this to you. They're just contemplating how they're going to do it. They don't know how they're going to do it because I feel like for some of you guys, especially if you're in a relationship, they don't know how to speak to you. They fear, what I strongly feel like is they fear reconciliation between you and this current love interest or someone that you just separated from. They fear that you're going to get back with this person. I feel like you've talked to them on and off again about wanting to sever ties with someone. Absolutely, just as I said that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. No longer working on a, a relationship. They fear that you're going to go back to this individual. But they don't want you to with the judgment card in reverse. You know, judgment is all about, absolutely, judgment is all about reconciliation. They want you to kick this person to the curb. You, They feel like this person is a burden to you. And they don't want you to reconcile with this individual. Let's get a clarifier. Absolutely. Ten of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, they definitely feel like this person is a burden to you. And I feel like you feel the same way, especially if you're in a relationship right now. This, this relationship could feel heavy. Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you got the hair font in reverse. The hair font is always a spouse. Taurus energy also. I'm turning it upright so you can see the imagery. I feel like this person could feel like a middleman in between you and your partner's relationship. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so remember the part of the song that I told you I heard he has you on lockdown but I got the master key you got two keys right here do you hear what I'm saying to you this person feels like you are their soulmate and that's why the hair fine both of these major arcana you have one major arcana clarifying another this is why they feel like this is they want this to be done they want this union between you and this person to be done because they feel like you are their life partner or they are your life partner however you want to put it long story short they feel like they are the one this person that you're with now or this person that you're thinking about reconciling with they don't feel like this person is the one Ooh. okay aquarius you guys have somebody who's on your bumper at the bottom of the deck another major icon of the hermit card this person is really in deep introspection about how they are going to connect with you and how they look at that these energies together, this person is, I feel like, even overthinking how they're going to communicate with you because they're going to come They're going to come in and communicate with you. Or, like I said, it could be vice versa. Wow, okay. Ooh, okay, let me show you. So we have the judgment card reversed. They do not want you to get back with this person. Strength card, they're trying to build up the strength to communicate with you. They have the, you have the, wow, okay. Your card, Aquarius in reverse, star card. And then right here, you have the five of cups in reverse. I feel like for some of you guys, for, you know, for the Aquarius, is, it could be that this person is talking to you and you're feeling heartbroken because you know that they have a history of constantly going back to this person. But you're hoping that they're going to be strong enough not to do it again this time. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles upright, a single woman, single man. But this coming up in reverse, they feel, like I said, they feel like you're going to go back to this person again. Or you, They feel like you're going to go back to this person again, or you feel like they're going to go back to this person again. Yeah. Page of Cups. Somebody's holding back how they feel. They're not expressing their emotions. Again, pages are communication coming in. They're just kind of, I feel like this person 
who's thinking about you or that you're thinking about them you're just over in your mind over analyzing things thinking about it over and over again because i do pick up an energy that somebody is like i don't want to tell this person how i feel and ruin my friendship with them if they're going to go back and be with this person again but this person is in love with you i mean look at the intensity look at the intensity they feel like they know you better than you know yourself i'm hearing and also, you know, the, ooh, okay. You know how they say that apple and the garden of Eden is like the forbidden fruit? Yeah, this is why they are this page of cups in reverse. Because they feel like this, you know, this will be temptation and it will ruin everything. If they tell you how they truly feel and you go back to this person or you stay with this person. Yeah, I'm hearing something about pillow talk. Again, I feel like you are talking to this individual or this individual is talking to you about their relationship. And they're just acting like, you know, not acting because they could probably really want to console you and be supportive, but they're also in love with you. Clear as day, they're very much in love with you. And they want you to leave this person that you have this long-term commitment with, be it marriage, engagement, whatever the case, civil union. They want you to leave this person because they want you for themselves. And they're really in their mind about how they, because think about it, source is the mental and communication. The source is right over his head, right behind his head. They're really in their mind a lot about how they're going to communicate this to you. Really in their head about it. Okay? So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.